Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a license plate system so you can have license plates randomized on your cars. So straight up to begin with we're going to just uh, insert a part. This is uh, the main license plate that we'll need. And quickly we're going to group this, group this, and we're going to uh, call that plate and we're going to call that script. Uh, if you want the free model it's in the description in the discord, join the discord and uh, go into the free model section. Uh, so we're going to quickly script the pattern of the uh, plate. Uh, this is a UK plate as you can see uh, and this is going to be local plate equals uh, and this is obviously the name. So then we'll do 4i equals 1 um, hashtag pattern do and then we're going to do local c equals string dot sub uh, pattern uh, comma i comma i then we'll got, what we're going to do is if bracket c equals equals zero um, then plate plate equals plate dot dot to string um, math dot random brackets uh, to nine so this goes from zero to nine as we can see, else, um, else, if, uh, comma c, equals equals x, then plate equals plate dot dot string dot char dot math dot random uh, six five to ninety, and then else is plate equals plate dot dot and then end. Uh, as we can see that's that section of the script and then we're going to do 4i comma v in pairs script dot parent dot plate um, get children uh, brackets um, do v dot sgui dot identify here uh, we'll need that in a second. We will get an error whilst we wait for the version of it, and that's going to be an end. And then we'll do script dot uh, comma destroy. Uh, so that's the whole script that we'll need. So then we'll come straight back into plate. And you see, we've got the plate. We'll make sure it's the correct size of the plate that we want. Lovely. All right. Then what we're going to do in plate is we're going to rename this to front, and we'll also be making a back plate. So we'll have that one. So in the UK uh, we've got yellow and we've got white. I've actually done these the wrong way around so I'm just going to name this one back um, pretty much lovely. So then what we're going to do is we're going to have a surface GUI and then we're going to have actually whilst I'm here I'm going to delete that then we're going to go into text box and we're going to name this to be called identity Fire. Uh, we need this to be the exact same name as this so to double check what we're going to do is we're going to double check it by doing this make sure it's correct and SGUI is going to be the name of this surface GUI as you can see that's perfect we've got the two different parts of the script excellent two parts uh, and then we're going to do uh, we're going to make this the correct formatted size so to change the length of it we're just going to make it 150 and uh, because this plate is a bit too large on the downscale, what we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, that to 170. Uh, sorry, 160-ish. Yep, perfect. And then that is going to be 30. Sorry, that's going to be 40. Uh, this is all on um, effectively how big you want the plate and how small you want the plate. Uh, the text box can be made uh, invisible, the background colour, to make it just that. Uh, you can change uh, certain things like uh, if you want a GB sticker here or if you wanted it to be blue, so this can be union, it just needs to have the uh, th this whole bit attached. Then what we'll do is copy and paste it, there we go, we'll have a front and we'll be making this white, then we can go into test play, press play. Have a look at the script. If it's 
worked, it should have the plate numbers on it. If it doesn't, then we'll go into output and make sure that everything is correct. As you can see, it's randomized the plate and they're the exact same plate number. Um, we'll actually come out of it for a minute and then we'll press play it again. Excellent, this is what we want to see from a plate such as this. Yep, as you can see, completely different plate again. Uh, this arrow is from a different thing. Uh, now that we've done that, that is all perfect and dandy. Uh, to put this into a car, we will just get, grab a, a chassis car, being this one. Uh, it's already got plates on it, it doesn't really matter. Um, pretty much what we do is we're pairing this into the car. We grab it out, put it in body, rename it to license plates, and <clears throat> then we can move where the plates need to be. Obviously, these are in the wrong place, but it doesn't effectively matter for this uh, for this video. There we go, and you'd be able to drive the car around with just these uh, attached. So we'll just quickly join the game, and they also need to be anchored. Haha. <laughs> My mistake for not anchoring them. Uh, so you just need to put it in the body of the car, and now that they're done, we can straight away see that they are attached to the vehicle. We can drive said vehicle. And the plates are in the correct place. Pretty much, you can make any model for the plates as long as the SGUI and the other parts are are all in the correct place. Pretty much, you only need this section and this section of the script. Scripts are in the Discord, in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Bye.